ABC versus traditional overhead absorption costing and operating ABC system. This is your tutor, Senior Huntington. A thank you to those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to share my YouTube channel with those other friends as long as you believe that they will benefit from the content on my channel. Now, in today's video, we are looking at the distinction between ABC and the traditional overhead absorption costing systems. The traditional overhead absorption costing systems, which are still widely used by companies, were developed in the early part of this century to deal with the product costing in the typical factory which existed by then. This had the following characteristics. Direct costs were a high proportion of total costs, that is materials and labor. Relatively small number of support functions, e.g. planning, purchasing, financial, quality control, etc. Which meant low overheads by then. Low levels of mechanization with the consequence that, with the consequence that uh, simple labor based production was the norm of the day. Large runs of relatively standardized products. Slow rate of change both products and methods. Now based on these characteristics, product costs were calculated by adding on to direct costs a proportion of overheads deemed to be related to units produced. Overheads were charged to products on production volume related basis, usually direct labor hours or machine hours. This assumption is wrong. Not all overheads are related to production volume. However, manufacturing methods, organization, and cost patterns have changed a lot in this modern environment. Nowadays, manufacturing is automated and computerized. There is a greater diversity and the overheads are a much higher proportion of total costs. In fact, in some modern factories, direct labor is nowadays only 5 to 15% of the total costs. There has been a growth in the costs of service support functions which assist the efficient production of a range of high quality products. For example, these functions include scheduling, production control, data processing, industrial engineering, and so on. The important feature of these types of overheads is that they are largely unaffected by production volume. Instead, they vary in the longer term according to the range and complexity of products manufactured rather than the simple volume of output as in the traditional absorption costing. In the traditional costing system, you'll see that support overheads are absorbed simply on production volume, that is labor or machine hours. But this system tends to overcost high volume products, which cause relatively little diversity, and undercosts low volume products, which cause greater diversity and so called upon support services more. In an attempt to make overhead attribution more realistic, there have been various product costing developments in the recent years. One of the most influential has been activity based costing. In this video, we are looking at the distinction between the traditional overhead absorption costing 
and the ABC. Now, both the traditional overhead absorption costing and ABC use what we call a two-stage allocation process. And the main differences between the two costing methods occur in this process. Traditional overhead absorption costing assigns overheads to production and service departments. While ABC assigns overheads to each major activity. Traditional overhead absorption costing traces overheads to products by applying overhead absorption rates calculated using a small number of allocation bases. Activity-based costing identifies the drivers of costs for each activity and hence may use many different cost drivers to allocate costs to the products. As we can see, we have the first stage allocation and the second stage allocation. We look at the traditional costing systems, overheads are assigned to cost centers or cost pools, as you can see. Still, that is the same case when it comes to the activity-based costing systems. We assign the overheads to cost centers, but in ABC, overheads are assigned to activity cost centers. In the second stage allocations, the overheads that have been accumulated in the cost centers are allocated to cost objects using selected cost drivers. But the difference is that under the traditional costing systems, we use small number of cost centers and a small number of stage allocation bases, mainly labor or machine hours. In the activity-based costing systems, we have greater number of cost centers and a greater number of cost drivers. How do we operate the ABC system? How would we operate the ABC system? When operating the ABC system, of course, we have a small diagram there which you can look at. But... ABC involves a number of stages which we can go through. First of all, the activities that cause overheads to be incurred are identified. Then costs are accumulated or pooled based on these activities. Step three, the factors that cause the cost of each activity to arise are selected. We call these cost drivers. In step four, the total quantity of volume of each cost driver is established and each activity overhead cost is divided by this cost driver total to obtain an activity cost per cost driver or what we call the cost driver rates. Then finally, overheads are assigned to products based on the usage of the activity and the activity cost per cost driver. Those are the stages involved in the implementation of ABC. Due to the fact that ABC has many cost driver rates, it produces more realistic product costs, especially where support overheads are high. In my next presentation, we shall see the difference between the traditional costing system and activity-based costing numerically 
So you are going to come up with the computations of product costs using both approaches. Then we see the difference. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I remain Senior Huntington. Bye-bye.